Hello, everybody. Good evening. It's nice to have you one more time. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here. We are going to continue learning English. Thank you so much, y'all, for being here. Okie dokie. Let me show you what's going to be today's class. Thank you so much, Ana Cristina, Claudia, Ronald, Freddy, Sandra, Daniela, Jorge, Elisa, Edith, Juan, Eliana, and Cindy. Thank you so much for being here on time. It's my pleasure to be here again with you. Um, thank you so much. We're going to have an easy class today based on the context that we have available for today, which is related to the present perfect. Okay, so I'm going to show you right now what it's going to be about. This is the topic for today. We're going to work with for and since. Yes. Um, this is class number 15. So again, welcome. It's nice to have you on this beautiful day, which is Wednesday, October. Let me see. 18th, 2023. Okay. So. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, thank you. We're gonna have extra information about this thing that is called for and since. How do we use this? These two words are pretty much very close with the present perfect. Yes, which is one of the main topics here in this um, section number five. Yep. Don't forget also that you have the exercises on the platform that you gotta finish. Um, this week okay so uh if you have a problem with one of those let me know so i can help you with the exercises that are available on the platform yes um so thank you so much okay let's begin we're gonna have this um word power life experiences oh Look at the one, this one, life experiences. Uh, Daniela, hello, Daniela Mercedes Olivares Resinas. Good evening, nice to have you. Tell me, what do you understand when, when, when it comes this thing, life experiences? What is this thing about? Yes, that is true. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Yes, life experiences, right, Claudia? What can you tell me about life experiences? What are those? Good evening. Can you hear me? Nice and clear. Please go ahead. Life experiences, I understand that is um, from... Maybe some activities that we have during some periods of life. Exactly. Exactly. So those activities that we have done, yes, or, or things that we remember, right? That memories that we can have about something that we have done in the past. Very good. Wonderful. So we have these verbs, as you may see, eat, drink, drive, lose, ride in where and here we have some vocabulary so we're going to have this vocabulary according to the verb okay so here we have this vocabulary do me a favor anna anna christina tell me the vocabulary please thank you um find two phrases to go with each verb uh, riding in the chair, a bike, your English book, a costume, a truck, your phone, a motorcycle, sushi, chocolate soda, iced coffee, tubes, a sport car, a uniform. Very good. Okay, so thank you so much, Anna. So which one, which one goes with it? Uh-huh. 
it. What, what, what is the vocabulary that goes with it? Sushi. Oh, okay. Sushi, very good. Okay, sushi. Oh, I'm sorry. Oopsie. Sushi. Okay, what else? Octopus. Octopus. Okay, thank you. Uh, I'm sorry, octopus. Thank you. What else? Chocolate soda. Oh, no. Ice coffee. Oh, no, it's it. Ice coffee. Ice no, coffee. I think chocolate soda is maybe it's it's como helado de café, no. Soda. Ice coffee is como helado de café. Yes, exactly. That is correct. This is a come. Mm -hmm. Chocolate soda is drink. Exactly. Very good. So drink goes with chocolate soda. Thank you so much. Yeah. Okie dokie. Soda. When you go to La Neveria, right? Thank you so much. Very good. Oh, what else we have with drink? Just that one. Okay. What about with drive? What do we have with drive? Uh, a motorcycle. A motorcycle? A bike? A bike, um, a truck, okay. a sport car, okay, a, truck. a sport car, a truck, a truck, very good, you told me a sport car, okay, very good, a sports car, okay, very good, what about loose? Your phone, okay, very good. Your phone, thank you. Your English books. Okay, thank you. Your English book. Oh, very good, what else? Use that one, I guess. What about ride? Uh, a bike. A bike, yes, very good. And a motorcycle. Exactly, a motorcycle, right. A motorcycle, thank you. What about wear? Wear a custom. Wear a custom, very good. A uniform. A exactly, uniform. right. Wear a uniform. Oh, do you remember when you used to wear a uniform, right? Not anymore. All right. Yeah, it's gone. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about washing that thing, right? <laughs> and putting it behind behind the fridge so it gets dry <laughs> oh jesus christ i remember those day those days those days were good yes fine yes okay forget about it okay so this is the vocabulary right eat sushi okay um tome la captura please so this uh, vocabulary and send it on the whatsapp group yes on the WhatsApp group, please send the picture so you can have it because we are going to use this one. We're going to use this vocabulary for the next activity. So please send send the picture on WhatsApp group, please. Thank you. So we can have it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Take, take a screenshot of this book. Thank you so much, Edith. That was very nice of you. Okay. So any question about this vocabulary? Do you understand everything from here? Maria Vilma Cortez, do you understand everything? Entiende el vocabulary and the verbs, Maria Vilma. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you so much. Si no entienden algo, let me know anytime, okay? Thank you so much. Okay. Why I'm telling you that you need to save it? Because for the next activity, we're going to use this one. Okay. Have you ever? So we are going to make questions using have you ever. 
Ask classmate questions about the activities in exercise number eight. ¿Cuál era el exercise number eight? Bueno, el que estábamos viendo, right? Si usted se va a su WhatsApp group, ahí va a ver una picture that Edith sent for us. Right, Edith? Yes. And over there, tenemos some activities, right? So we are going to ask questions like, have you ever... Y we are going to use the verbs que están ahí. ¿Cuáles son los verbs, Freddy? Uh, <clears throat> a word. No, los que están en la picture. That is on WhatsApp group. Ah, pero estaba yeah. okay. anotando la pregunta. Oh, ok, I'm sorry. <laughs> Para I'm ver sorry. Que, que, cuál era el significado, perdón. Ah, ok. Vamos a ver. Um, hello, verb, uh, eat, mm -hmm. yes. drink, very good, drive, look, very good, ride, uh, wear, wear, very good. So, Freddy, tenemos, have you ever worn a costume? Mm -hmm. Este verb que está aquí, ¿cuál de todos esos que mencionó es? Which one is? Um, como where exactly very good yes right si usted se fija aquí lo estamos usando with present perfect right entonces it changes it changes right mm -hmm. so qué va a hacer usted well va a cambiar ese verb que está ahí en present a past participle uh -huh. y le va a agregar uno del vocabulary que pusimos en las pictures right si usted se fija en las pictures tenemos a custom a uniform yes uh -huh. so you can say Have you ever worn a uniform? Yes, I have. Really? Where were you? Oh, I was in high school. I was in elementary school. I was in, I don't know, third cycle when I used to wear a uniform, right? Back in the days. Yes? I, I don't know if you do understand, Anna, the way you are going to do it. Ana, do you understand? No understand. Oh, that's okay. No problem. Okay. Entonces, en la lista que, que enviaron en el WhatsApp group, yes, right, en la lista hay unos verbs y a la parte de los verbs, el vocabulary que estuvimos trabajando. Yes? Yes. Right. Entonces, viene usted y va a hacer una cuestión que va a comenzar siempre con have you ever. Yes. Y va a ocupar esos mismos verbs con ese vocabulary para hacer una question. ¿Cómo nos quedaría, por ejemplo, eh, eh, Ana, donde dice it? Have you ever? ¿Cuál es el past participle of the verb it? Um, have you ever ate? Oh, eh, eating, very good. Have you ever eaten? ¿Y cuál es el vocabulary que está ahí? En la picture on WhatsApp. Eh, sushi. Sushi, very good. Entonces, mire. Oh, Jesus Christ. It doesn't right. Ok, sushi. Ok, mire. Ahí. Right. Ahora, si usted quiere, lo cambia, right? Yes. Y en vez de sushi, ¿cuál estaría? Um, ice coffee. No, I'm sorry. No. Um, Uh, sí, teníamos ice coffee y octopus. Oh, sería octopus. Octopus, right? Ese fue el único que quedó ahí. So, tenemos sushi y octopus. Yes. La picture, María Vilma Cortés, que está en WhatsApp. Yes. Edith, she sent it over there. Ok. Entonces, vamos a ir siendo questions así como es. Right? Vamos a ir cambiando el verb y el vocabulary. Yes. Ana, now do you understand? Yes. Okay, perfect. Sí. Perfect. Okay. Perfect. So this is the way we are going to do it. Have you ever? Yes. ¿Y cómo va a contestar usted con un yes, I have or no, I haven't? Yes. Right? Ahora, si usted quiere, you can add a compliment. Yes. You can add a compliment. Okay. But we're going to have it like this one. Yes. Do you understand at home, people? Yes, do you understand? Any question about this? 
No? Okay, so let's begin no. with. Okay, questions? No, no, no. Juan Carlos. Okay, hello, Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos, can you participate? Are you busy? No, I think he's busy, right? Ronald, can you participate? No, okay. Genesi, thank you so much, Genesi. Very good. Do we have, let me see. Jorge, okay. Genesi and Jorge. Genesi, ask Jorge your questions and Jorge, try to answer the best you can these questions, okay? Okay, um, if I understand well, I have this one. Have you ever ridden a motorcycle? No, I haven't. Oh, oh yes, but <laughs> exactly. But you need to ask this question to uh, your classmate, uh, Jorge. Uh... Uh, yes, and Jorge is going to answer your question. Yes? Okay, Jorge? Yes. Perfect. Okay, Genesi, go ahead. Have you ever ridden a motorcycle? Yes, I have. Really? Where? Oh, ridden? Oh, okay, excuse me, George. Oh, Jorge, I'm sorry. Um, no sé qué seguía. <laughs> oh, ella le preguntó where. Where. O en ese contexto, like, a where. Maybe you can uh, say. No, no entiendo. Oh, okay, so in this one, lo que está preguntando ella es, pues, ¿dónde es que usted conduce, right, la motorcycle? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes, where, where were you? Okay. Where were you? Where? Mm -hmm. Or also, yeah, very good. Thank you so much. Very good, Janice. Okay. Now, Daniela, thank you, Daniela. What is the next verb that we have over there? Oh, drink. Mm -hmm. uh, Daniela and Claudia. Okay, so Claudia, you answer. And Daniela, you ask her with the verb drink. Okay. okay. Daniela. Teacher, le puedo ayudar yo ya la hice. Oh, oh, please, go ahead, Ana. Thank you. Have you ever drink chocolate soda? No, I haven't. Very good. So, Loana, ahí vamos a cambiar el verb. Ok. ¿Por qué? Ah, sí, el pasado, ¿verdad? Al eh, pasado, past participle. Very good, Ana. Al past participle. Ok. Yes. Very good. Very good. Thank you so much. Now, Claudia, you ask, and your partner is going to be Juan, okay? Okay. Which one? Which the verb? The next I verb, can... Claudia. I'm sorry. Um, try. Yes. Okay. Um, my partner is, sir? Juan. Juan. Juan, Juan, have you ever driven a motorcycle? No, I haven't. Okay, very good. Just don't forget, Claudia, when we use drive and when we use ridden. Yeah, ridden is for bikes, motorcycles. Okay, so drive uh, is... Exactly, what you need to have. Exactly, exactly. 
That's okay, no problem. Very good. Oh, yes, now you to Claudia, please. Yeah. Okay, okay. Okay. Okay, Juan, go ahead. Okay, have you ever driving a truck in the mountain? No, I haven't. Very good. Okay. Yes, very good. Thank you so much. Okay, great job. Freddy, with the verb loose. And your partner is going to be, let me see. Your partner is going to be um, Edith. Okay. Okay. Okay, Freddy, can you do it, or are are you are you busy? Well, I think Freddy is busy. That's why he doesn't answer. Okay, so uh, let's work. Oh, Jacqueline, thank you, Jacqueline. And uh, you ask Edith, right? Thank you. With the word loose. Jacqueline? Me, coach. Me ask. Oh, yes. You to her, please. Okay. Uh, have you ever lost your phone? Yes, I have. Very good. Very good. Thank you, Samal. Now you add this to um uh, okay. Uh, el mismo verbo. No, you need with the next one. Read write because written. Write, which is written. Mm -hmm. Ah, right. Yeah. Okay. Read. Had you ever tried reading? bike? Ah, reading. Mm -hmm. Had you ever ridden bike? A bike? Yes, I have. Okay, perfect. Good. Thank you so much. Great job. Okay. And the last one is going to be for, let me see. Oh, Jenny. Thank you, Jenny. Ask this question to um, Jocelyn. Can you participate, Jenny? Can you participate today? Oh, no, okay. I'm sorry. Oh, yes. Okay. 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 I think Jenny, she's busy, Jocelyn, with Janie. Okay, Janie. Janie Lisette Escobar. Yes, teacher. Oh, perfect. Jocelyn, ask her, please. Ask her, Jocelyn. Okay. Have you ever worn a uniform? Oh, very good. Yes, I have. Perfect. Thank you so much. Very good. In addition to these uh, sentences with have you ever or questions with have you ever, we are going to add two important words related to this ones. Okay. And those are for and seems. Okay. I want you to watch this video so you can figure it out how do we use these ones? And then we can have some time for practice. Let's listen and what? Hello, in this session, the use of for and since will be explained. Note the expressions. For and since. How long did you live in Thailand? I lived there for two years. It was wonderful. How long have you lived in Miami? I've lived here for six months. I love it here. I've lived here since last year. I'm really happy here. Let's talk about for and since. For plus period of time. For six years. For a week. For a month. For hours. For two hours. I have worked here for five years. Present perfect with for. She has lived here for 20 years. We have taught at this school for a long time. Alice has been married for three months. They have been at the hotel for a week. Since plus a specific moment. Since this morning, since last week, 
since yesterday, since I was a child, since Wednesday, since two o'clock. I have worked here since 1990. Present perfect with since. She has lived here since 1980. We have taught at this school since 1965. Alice has been married since March 2nd. They have been at the hotel since last Tuesday. Hello. In the Pretty much, this is the way we are going to use these two. As you may know, those are related with simple present. Uh, with simple present, with present perfect, I'm sorry. Uh, and we're going to use for, with, we have a period of time. Yes, since when we have a point, a point in time, okay? So, for example, how long, how long did you live in Miami? I lived there for four years. It was a great experience. So, here, I'm given a period of time. How many? Well, four years, right? And when we have since, how long have you lived in Orlando? Well, I live here for three years or you can say i worked at the hotel since last year depending on the things that you want to communicate that is the way you are going to use for or since if you want to talk about a period of time you are going to use for yes for three years and if you want to talk about a point in time yes you can use since, right? So that means when you use a point in time, that means that the condition started, right? Yes, I we've been seeing here since August. We've been here, so that means we're still doing it. You know what I mean? Like the the event that is here with since is still happening. Let me show you. Let me see. Oh my gosh. No, 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 no. Okay, sorry, give me a minute. Okay, my mistake. Okay, so back to this one here. Again, so that means that when you use scenes, you are communicating that you are still, I don't know, doing that. Or that you are still, I don't know living there let's say or doing that thing yes and when you has usually you use for is like just you are communicated that you you did that for a period of time okay i don't know if you you're getting it in this one what is the difference between for and since yes and you can use this pretty much like um in different contexts, present, past, I don't know, future, whatever, right? The only thing you need to be careful is the way you use it. But the, the um, as far as I remember, these two foreign sims are very close with the present perfect because of the context. As you may know, present perfect is about experiences, right? It's about um, activities that we've done yes uh to talk about memory sometimes yes so because of the context of the present perfect these two words estas dos palabras pues eh, sí pegan bastante with the context yes uh, so that's why these these two goes like pretty much very close with with present perfect uh, i'm going to take the attendance right now uh, just just give me some time when you hear your name, please say present. Yes, a recordarle lo de los ejercicios en la plataforma. Sí, pedirles pues uh, que se mantenga al día, right? Y los finalice lo más pronto posible. Pues porque solo vamos a tener esta clase today y la de mañana y finalizamos el module, which is uh, pre-intermediate module number two. Okay. Ana Cristina Paz del... Ah, oh, Jesus. Ana Cristina Peña de Paz. Present teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Blanca Isolina Guzmán Cruz. 
I'm here. Thank you so much. Um, Briseida Janeth Garcia de Crispin. Hello, Briseida. Are you here? Yes, Briseida is here, but probably she's busy, right? She doesn't know. So, uh, Cindy Stephanie Ramirez Rodriguez. Present teacher. Thank you. Good evening. It's nice to have you, Claudia eh, Yesenia Flores de Galdames. I'm here. Sure. Nice to have you. Good evening. Daniela Mercedes Olivares Racinos. Daniela, are you here? I think she was here. Okay, let me see. Yes, Daniela, she's here, but probably she's busy. Okay, Evers Ernesto Perdomo Alvarez. Present teacher. Nice. Sorry That's for coming okay. late. That's okay. Teacher, Welcome. Oh, oh, let me check. Oh, Evers, that's okay. No problem. It's nice to have you. Okay. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, okay, Daniela. Thank you so much for letting me know. Okay, okay. Let me check. Uh, Edith Carolina Rivera de Segundo. I'm here, teacher. Nice to have you. Good evening. Edwin Benjamin Sanchez Portillo. Edwin, are you here? No, he isn't. Okay. What about Elisa Maria Garcia de Ruiz? Present teacher. Nice to have you. Good evening. Freddy Alberto Paz Carrillo. Present teacher. Nice to have you. Good evening. Ileana Mariel Alvarado Mengibar. Thank you. Good evening. It's nice to have you. Genesi Alexandra Lopez Portillo. Present. Good evening and welcome. Jacqueline Vanessa Rodriguez Sanchez. Present teacher. Nice to have you. Welcome. Janie Lisset Escobar Lucero. Present teacher. Nice to have you and welcome. Jorge Mauricio Gutierrez Alfaro. Present teacher. Welcome. It's nice to have you, gentlemen. Jose Alcides Leiva Ibarra. Present teacher. Thank you and welcome, Jose. Um, Jocelyn Tatiana Moreno Mercado. I'm here, teacher. Good evening and welcome. Juan Jose Garcia Mendez. Present, and teacher. Thank Good you so much, Juan. Good evening. Liliana del Transito Aguilar Juarez. Present, teacher. Thank you so much and welcome. Marcos Alberto Palacios Herrera. Good evening, teacher. Thank you so much. Present. Nice to have you. Maria Vilma Cortez Rivas. Present. Thank you, Milena de Los Angeles, Aragón, Blaise Des. Thank you, uh, Ronald Rafael Cruz Amaya. Present okay. teacher. Thank you, Ronald, and welcome. Nice to have you. Um, Sandra Noemi Pimentel Álvarez. Present teacher. Thank you so much, and welcome. Santos Guadalupe Ruiz Ventura. Hello, Santos. Are you here? I think she was here. Yes, she's here, but she probably she's busy. Okay. Tiffany Guadalupe Martinez Mendez. Present. Nice to have you and welcome. Jenny Lisbeth Tolosa Cortez. Present teacher. Nice to have you and welcome. Jenny Marisol Hernandez de Guevara. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, just a quick thing about the these foreign sims. How do we use this one? Um, we're gonna have forensics like for this one to say how long, yes. However, there is a slight difference between these two, right? Yes, so oh, let me check here. Somebody wrote in the chat, okay. Santos, thank you so much. Also, Ileana, thank you so much. So, there is a slight difference. Oh, yes, nice and clear. Okay. Perfect. Um, Jose Alcides Leiva. Hola. Please, can you read the Hi. information about four, please? Thank you. Okay. This, thank you. This information, please. Four. We we use four. Alteration. So we use foreign scenes to say 
alone. Rachel is in Brazil. She has been here uh, for three days since Monday. We use four plus a period of time, uh, three days or two years, etc. How do you say etc? ETC. 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 Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, for this, uh, three days, 10 minutes, an hour, two hours, a week, four weeks, a month, three months, five years, a long time. Richard has been in Canada for six months. Not since six months. We've been waiting for two hours. Not since two hours. I've lived in Chicago for a long time. Thank you so much. Very good. Thank you, Claudia. Hello, Claudia. Hello. Thank you. Read the information about since, please. We use since. Okay. We use since plus the start of the period at Monday, nine o'clock, o'clock, etc. At since Monday. Nine o'clock, July fourth, January, nineteen ninety-five, Wednesday, twelve and thirty. My birthday. I was ten years old. We arrived. Um. Richard has been in Canada since January. It's equal from January to now. Uh, we've been waiting since nine o'clock. It's equal from nine o'clock to now. I've lived in Chicago since I was 10 years old. Thank you so much, right? So this is the way we use it, right? Here we have a a uh, period of time, yes, and here we have a point in time. You see, se fija, mire, aquí empecé, right? Mire, el pas, y todavía sigo acá, right? Ese es un period of time, yes. Y aquí, right, si usted se fija, pues aquí está el pas, y aquí está el now. Yes, igual es, here is a period, right? Digo, cuánto, yes. That is the difference, okay, between these two. An addition that we have this one is ago, ago. Usually we have this one before now, okay. Um, for example, um, Gijo started her new job three weeks ago. Usually this one goes with other vocabulary, right? Have you see? And it usually goes at the end. Okay. Yes. Usually a go goes at the end when we want to communicate about something on like time, period time. Okay. Uh let's get back to the examples with foreign sins. Give me a minute. Oh, here we go. Let's take a look. Page six. Okay, choose the correct words. Thank you so much. We're going to have individual participation. Give me a minute. Tiffany, Guadalupe, Martinez. Number one is for you, Tiffany. Read the sentence and pick for or since according to the context. And about my car, almost 10 years old, I had it. 
since almost 10 years. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Okay, sería for, ¿por qué? Porque este es un period. ¿Cuántos años, right? 10, 10 years, yes? I got it for almost 10 years, right? So I had it, I had it for almost 10 years. So that is a period of time, okay? Okay. Thank you so much. Very good, Tiffany. Great job. We're going to have another one. Give me a check. Okay. Uh, Elisa Maria Garcia de Ruiz. Hello, Elisa. Good evening. Number two is for you, please. Hello. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Number two is for you. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, leerla y yes. luego... And you okay. speak which one is correct. Let it like for or since. Okay. Um, eh, the Carter moving to... No sé cómo se pronuncia. Seattle. Seattle. Six months uh, Ago. 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 Um, they uh, leave the, um, their, um, seria, um, four? Jenny, please. Six months. That is correct. Four. Six, six months. I remember six months is a period, right? It's a period of time. So you are giving a quantity. Yes. Very good. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. Very good. Uh, the next one is going to be for Janessi Alexandra Lopez. Number three, Janessi. Thank you. I want to see that movie um, for a long time. It's been on theater since, since March. That was beautiful. Very good. Yes. Perfect. Very good. Right. Thank you so much. Very good. So in this one, one of the key just to identify this one estaba en el video. No sé si en el video se fijaron, right? Let me get back to the video. In the video, we have some examples about the use of this one. Okay. Give me a minute. Por ejemplo, aquí, miren, en pantalla tenemos four. Let me see if I can make it bigger. No. Okay. What is that one? Okay. Hello, in this session, let's talk about four and six. Okay, so if you see here, tenemos los examples for period of time. Cuando? Cuando tenemos six years, a week, a month, hours, two hours, mm, years, right? When we have a period of time, we are going to use this one. If you notice here, we have the expression for and then a period of time. Yes, 20 years, long time, three months, a week, right? And let me see. Oh my gosh. Esta cosa never change. <laughs> since plus a specific moment. Oh, since. Okay. Here we have since. Okay. Here we have since, right? A specific moment, let's say this morning. Yes, last week, yesterday, I was a child, Wednesday, two o'clock, work, okay. But basically, the way I understand this one is better for me. Well, that's my perspective. When I have a, like, um, oh, Jesus, I forgot. Um. I forgot, Jesus Christ. 
Oh, Excuse me. Jacqueline? No, I forgot. Date. Oh, oh uh, yes. Thank you so much. No, because no. Yes. Well, we have dates probably. Ah, oh, pero que se fue la palabra que tenía. Jesus, I forgot. Oh, my mind is blank. I don't I don't remember exactly what was that thing. Jesus Christ. Okay. Oh, she has lived here since 1980. We have thought that this school since 1965. Alice has been married since uh, March 2nd. And this was... Um, well, this one is when it tells us a specific moment, pretty much. Yes, so we need to be careful. But I think like it's somehow it's not too difficult. Oh, yes, very good. Okay, so give me a minute, please. I will send you an image on WhatsApp group. Yes, so you can have it. Give me a minute. I, and I think this one is one of my favorites. Okay. Over there you have it on WhatsApp group. Where you have pretty much the examples and the expression. If you notice over there, we have period of time, which is four. And things is like a starting point. Yes, right. Cuando comencé algo, right? When I started this. Yes, she lived here since, pues desde, right? 1980. Pues yo empecé en 1980, right? Todavía I live there. Y como dijo your partner, right? A date. Ella me dijo una fecha o un year, right? So a date or a time, like this one. Yes. This is this is like, for me, this is the Page easiest 60. way. To identify this one, okay? Um, oh, Jesus Christ. We're gonna have this one for and since, okay? Let's check for and since. Oh, I love this picture. Thank you so much. We're gonna have Jorge. Number two, Jorge, please. What is the correct option, for or since? I have been a teacher. Uh, oh, muchos años. Uh, for several years. Very good. There you go, Jorge. That is correct. Wonderful. Boy. Yes. Thank you so much, Jorge. Another one is going to be for you. Let me see. Janie. Thank you, Janie. Number three. I haven't had this much fun since I was a kid. Oh, that's very good, right? Like your English classes, yes? <laughs> 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 oh, that was a terrible job. Okay, thank you so much. Yes, very good. The next one is for you, Maria Vilma Cortez Rivas. Number four. <laughs> I'm so asleep. I be awake sign for this morning. Okay, so what sería for or since? Since. Hey, that is beautiful. Yes. Perfect. Very good. Maria, what is this sleepy? I'm so sleepy. It's sleepy. Sleepy is like cuando comienza your English class, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Empieza a dormirse, right? Yes, right? Empieza a dormirse, right? That's sleepy, right? And that's here, right? Empieza a llamar a la gente, right? Yes, right? So sleepy is when we feel like we, that we want to sleep. Yes. How do you say that in Spanish? Oh, Jesus. Um, con sueño. Exactly. Uh -huh. Soñoliento o con sueño, right? I'm so sleepy. Yes, like that. 
Empieza a hablar el teacher de inglés, Brian. <laughs> Empieza a dormir. <laughs> okay, thank you. I've been awake since since four this morning, right? Early in the morning. If you work. Oh, Jesus. Hay una canción que es early in the morning. Oh, ya la han escuchado, una ¿no? que se llama. Good morning. Hello. And how are I... Early in the Okay, forget about it. So, uh, okay, things for in the this morning. So that means you wake up early, basically, right? Como dice, like, el refrán, right? El que, se le, el que madruga, pues tiene sueño como las tres de la tarde, right? So that's the expression, yeah? So this one, mire, sleepy. Thank you so much, Ronald. Number five, Ronald. Oh, I think he's busy. Sandra Noemi Pimentel, number five. Sandra. Ki Kyoko was in Turin, Turin in Peru. Uh, what is the meaning of uh, world semester? Oh, whole? Um, how much is a semester at the university? A semester, semester completo. Uh huh. Yes. Uh huh. Six. How much is how many months do we have in a semester? Six. Hey, exactly. Six. Very good. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. For 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 a wide semester. Whole. Whole semester. Exactly. Very good. Yep. Okay, give me a minute. Yes, it's half half of the year, six months, and exchange. Okay, exchange, Sandra. Kyoko was an exchange student in Peru for a whole semester. Very good. Yes, four. Okay, Jacqueline, thank you. Do you have a question or do you want to do number six? I have a question, teacher. Oh, yep. So what is exchange? Oh, exchange is like, for example, like one student from here in Salvador goes to study to another country. That is exchange. Like one university from Chile, let's say, uh, requests like a student from here, El Salvador, and this person goes over there. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah. And Kyoko, look at this one. This is like anime, right? It's like anime or doramas. Yeah, Kyoko. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like that. Thank you. Uh, let me see who else. Janessi, Alexandra. Thank you. Number six, Janessi. Marcos has lived in Dubai since 2010. Perfect. Can you repeat the, this the verb, please? Janessi. Has lived. Lived. Very good. Since 2010. Dubai. Look at that one. That's very expensive, right? Yeah. <laughs> like San Salvador. Thank you. Number seven is for you. Um, Juan Jose Garcia. Number seven, please. That's okay, Rona. I understand. No problem. Thank you so much for being here. How are you? I haven't seen you for high school. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Uh, how are you? I have I haven't seen you since high school. Exactly. Very good. Since high school. Right. Do you remember Juan Jose, your your classmates from <laughs> from high school? Juan Jose? Uh, a little. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Everything changes. Everything changes. That's true. Yeah. Thank you so much. Uh the next one is gonna be number number eight. Cindy Stephanie. Can you participate, Cindy? Just to be sure. Um, because sometimes she's busy. Yes, teacher. Oh, thank you. Number eight. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, where have you been? I've been here uh, since over an hour. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. 
is for. Yes, can you read one more time the sentence? Okay, uh, where have you been? I've been here for over an hour. Hour. Oh, hour. An hour, very, very good. There was a son from, I think, Rihanna, right? She has, she has a son that is just, where have you been? Yes, where have you been? Yeah, something like that. Very good. Thank you so much. And the next one is going to be for you, Liliana, number nine. Mr. and Mr. Lopez have been married since nearly 50 years. I'm sorry, that is incorrect. Four. Exactly. Can you read one more time the sentence? Mr. and Mr. Lopez have been married for nearly 50 years. Thank you. Just a quick question. Can you repeat this one, please? Mr. Um, I like the video. Oh, okay. Very good. Mrs. 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 Exactly. Exactly. That's why I'm asking you. Porque escuché como Mr., right? Mr. and Mr. Uh -huh. So that's, that's why I need to be sure. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Exactly. So we have Mr. and Mrs. Jenny. Good evening, teacher. Solo saber si me uh, puso en la lista de porque no lo escucho bien. Oh, okay. A ahorita. Just, just give me a minute. Ahorita, antes que terminemos, we'll revise. Okay. So just give me a minute. Let me, let me finish this one. Okay. So this is the way we use for and since. Okay. Claudia, please explain to me when do we use for, Claudia? We use for when we have a period of time. Thank you. Give me an example, please. Um, um, I've been studying for two years. Beautiful. That is correct. Yes. Perfect. Thank you so much. Jorge. Jorge, tell me, when do we use since? Since do we use when we have a, a specific moment or specific years, a specific hours? Very good. Can you give me an example, please? Uh, The number, the number four. I'm so sleepy. I have, I been awake since four this morning. That is true, also, right? <laughs> 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 that is, that is true, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, that is correct, Jorge. Very good, right? Yes. So, uh, very good. So, four when we have a period of time. And things when we have like a, a started point or a date. And most of the time, this one, we can like, we have these two a lot with the present perfect. And also in other contexts, depending on the things that you want to communicate. Yes. I don't know if you have a question about this. Any question about this, people at home? Anna? Any question about this, Anna? Edith, do you have a question about this? No, Anna, no questions? No, teacher. Oh, okay, right. Again, again, how do we how do we learn this one? And the best way to learn something is by using it. Using it. However, if you notice these sentences are somehow complex, right? No son no some basic sentences. Right? Mire, Jill has driven the same car since. 2004. So the sentences are going to have difficult, let's say, because of the grammar structure that we have in here. Yes. So practice a little bit at home every day. Jenny, voy a revisar ahorita la tendance. Just give me a minute. 
please. Ahorita. Jenny, okay. Jenny, let me double check that one really quick. Jenny. Jenny Marisol Hernández de Guevara, right? Yes, teacher. Oh, yes, I got you. Yes, I got you here. Yes. Thank you. Don't forget that tomorrow we have classes. No se les olvide also los ejercicios en la plataforma. Tengan los listos para tomorrow, early in the morning. Um, eh, rest a lot. Be happy. Be nice and be kind. And take care. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Thank you, teacher. Thank Bye. you so much. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Great job, everybody.